another fresh day in Manchester. So right now it's going to be uh, literally working from a laptop for the majority of the morning and I'm super excited. I've got some uh, good things on the go at the moment and then it'll be training later. Foundra pull-ups, 2.5 kg weight. Will it happen? Yes, it will. I'm excited. See you soon. Okay, what I'd like to do before I get started is just uh, take a bit of me time. So I'd like to just have a little walk around, see the sights of Manchester. Take that moment before I literally get into hyperfocus, um, which is a great thing for me. But also, I've got to make sure that I get that well-rounded well-being balance for the day. So I've got the physical activity, so the foundered weighted pull-ups, um, plus the rings dips. Um, get the meditation in there. Um, I've got work to do, people to meet, things to do. And uh, yeah, so there's lots of different things going on today. And um, I like to take this time yeah, just to uh, to appreciate the moment and uh, sink into gratitude. And you know what? It's a beautiful day in Manchester. It's great to see. So everyone's super busy over at Club de, pa Club de Paddle. That is, it is lovely to see. I don't think I've ever seen one of the courts um, empty at all. Uh, and then you've got Federal Coffee that are supplying and keeping you nice and uh, nice and warm throughout the day. So yeah, just a little, uh, little view of Manchester here. People going about the days, doing whatever it is that they're doing today. And uh, the park is, is underway, construction's taking place. So I can't wait to show you that when that's uh, fully developed. A common theme that has taken place for me in January is having conversations with people that are just starting out on their journey. Uh, getting back into training or continuing the training, uh, they've not had much time off, um, or starting something for the very first time. And getting that, mem uh, that momentum built up and uh, keeping that routine, that discipline. And you know something, of course it is a challenge. Listen, it can be a challenge for me. And what I mean by that is I have to factor um, it into my life. I have to schedule it into my day to make sure that that thing that I really do want to do, which is uh, my chosen uh, physical activity. So in my case, it's challenging myself mentally and physically by setting audacious pull-up challenges. Um, that needs factoring in. I can't just roll out of bed and think, right, this will happen at some point today. It doesn't work like that for me. I have to factor that in. So that takes planning um, and it takes that level of commitment. And I know what that's like. So whether or not it's training super early in the morning, first thing, uh, throughout the course of the day or late into the evening, there'll be a period of time whereby it definitely has crept in my mind where I've thought, right, okay, have I got this today? Am I feeling it right now? Of course, I've experienced that myself. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So what I do in those moments is I remind myself why. Why is it that I'm doing this thing? Why is it that I'm doing a challenge like 10,000 pull-ups in January with the uh, additional weight? And I sink into my why. Because it is my why. It's my reason for that. And that keeps me focused and it keeps me grounded. Um, as soon as I start to think about other people and what they're doing, um, and I think about why they're doing that over there, is that something that I should be doing? I think, well, is that something that I'm inspired by in some way? So that can be a good thing. What is it that they're doing over there? That's interesting, what's going on? But as soon as I feel like the thing that I'm doing, I'm not enjoying, um, and my my eyes wandering and I'm thinking I should be doing something else <clears throat> that's the moment when I really need to take a stop check and 
and just, as I say, remind myself why I'm doing it. Enjoyment plays a big part. Enjoyment plays a huge part. There is nobody forcing me to do the pull-ups. It is my choice and I absolutely love it. Um, if you're doing something now, some sort of physical activity, and you're not enjoying it, ask yourself why that is. If it's a case of, do you know what, I've started back at the gym, I'm lifting the weights, and my arms and my legs are achy. That's, by the way, that's normal. That's probably going to be the same for most people. But if it's a case of, do you know what, I'm not enjoying it, ask yourself why you're not enjoying it. Keep asking yourself why until you get your authentic answer. If it's a case of your arms are aching, muscles are aching, you feel a bit tired, just remind yourself that everybody goes through that uh, pain barrier. So you've got to push through that. To push through that will be with your nutrition, your sleep, your rest, your recovery. You have to be kind to yourself. And as you progress on your journey, as you're patient on your journey, and you keep practicing and doing that thing, the persistence will pay off because the results will come and it'll get to the point whereby you don't ache in the same way <clears throat> because your muscles and your body is developing and it's developed since then that point and you're continually progressing along your journey. And I suppose it's a bit like that for me. At one point in my life, I couldn't do one single pull-up Honestly, it was disastrous. And I persevered through it. I wanted to understand what it meant for me so I could own that one pull up for me. And you can do the same for yourself, whatever that discipline is. Whether you're putting on your sneakers for the first time and going out running, whether you are bouldering, rock climbing, whether you are um, setting yourself a strength training and conditioning uh, regime, or you're starting CrossFit, or any type of discipline, whatever it is, know that day one, everybody's had a day one. Everybody has had their day one. But can you make it to day two, day five, and day seven, and day 30? I believe that you can do. Because as I say, at one point in my life, I struggled with challenges, um, get my head around certain things. So for the pull-ups for me, I used to do lat pull downs, which is a beautiful exercise, by the way, but I had to transition into pull ups. So, if you want to learn how to do a pull up, you have to put in the elements to do the pull up, the precision techniques that make up the pull up. The lat pull down machine is a different type of way of training the pull up. So, when I went through my process of learning how to perform pull ups, I had to remove the lat pull down machine for myself and start using resistance bands and starting uh, to get into that position to feel uh, what it's like to actually perform the movement that I want to perform, which is the pull-up, and go through the, the pain barriers of, uh, of what that looks and feels like. Um, so yeah, everybody's got to start somewhere. I am still learning all the time about uh, lots of different things. Um, so yeah, always be kind to yourself and be kind to others. So I'm going to take a moment now, I'm going to focus on my breathing meditation and then I'm sinking into my day. See you later. You know that feeling when you've had a full on day and you're ready to rest up and rest your mind and your body and just chill out? Yeah, I'm going to know what that's like in a bit. I uh, Right now it's going to be the 500 pull-ups. Uh, that's what I've got to go to. So getting into that mindset is reminding myself that I've got the challenge. I've got so many thousand pull-ups left. I have to commit to achieving this. I want to, I want to achieve it. I want to succeed. I remind myself of all of these things. And then do you know what I do? I get to that pull-up bar and I do those pull-ups. Let's go.
so that concludes Friday's session. What an amazing session. I am super on high positive energy frequency right now. It's been amazing. Found a pull-up to achieve with a 2.5 kg weight, push-ups, uh, body weight squats. Um, you saw Callan, uh, you saw Cal in the video. Um, what happened was we, we met recently, got chatting. He's doing an Ironman triathlon. He's a really, really nice guy. You want to check him out. I put his uh, Insta Instagram details uh, in the description. Um, he was, he was, today was a rest day. So he's come in and he's been doing like weighted pull-ups. I'm like, that is insane. That's amazing. So I'm there doing uh, my pull-ups with my little 2.5 kg weight. And then, uh, then Cal's there with a 20 kg weight. Amazing work, amazing work, lovely execution. So um, he's on his journey now for the Iron Tri Ironman Triathlon. Um, I think he's got a three hour bike ride tomorrow and then a half marathon coming up. So it's just really lovely to meet people that are doing their thing. Listen, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be um, crazy pull-up challenges or, or anything like that. It's when somebody's doing their thing on their journey, they're enjoying it, they know why they're doing it, they're on that path. You can kind of vibe off that. And listen, at one point, I wasn't on my journey. So I wanted to meet people that were doing their thing and get inspired and motivated. And then I would sink into my own self-motivation and commitment. And then I'm on that journey and it kind of forms this positive pool of collective uh, people. And it's a beautiful community. Listen, I'm just chatting on now. Amazing session today. Beautiful Friday, great vibes. I will see you soon. So whatever you're doing, Remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I'll see you soon. Take care.